once again, apologies from me. Uh, really sorry I can't be there. I will make every effort to make sure that I attend the next one. Um, sending my apologies uh, aligned to the first question that Jade set in terms of what we're being up to. After a relatively quiet August, um, for, for me and I think for, for many of you as well, it's ramping up to an extremely busy next couple of months. Um, and it starts for me tomorrow, uh, or now, as you're probably looking at this. Um, I'm currently in Chester delivering um, some essential management training um, for a leisure company. And I'm doing that Monday and Tuesday. And then I'll be heading up to uh, the Lakes for another management session uh, with another company later in the week. So generally speaking, it, it, as I said, it's starting to get busy. Um, lots of different pieces of work, some design work, uh, majority of delivery work over the next couple of cu couple of months. Um, so they often talk about feast and famine uh, when, in the freelance world, and it's it's about to hit that kind of feast part, which is good. Which is good if a little, if a little kind of um, nerve wracking as well. Um, in terms of highlights of my year so far, there've been there've been some. Um, you know, this is for for customer care first. So let me focus on 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 the work I've been doing with with you guys. Um, and they are genuine highlights. Um, since the last time I, I, I delivered a video like this, I've I've done a number of sessions for for CCF. In in particular, a couple of sessions that have involved um, facilitating large groups. So so in in one particular case, up to two hundred. And as those of those of you that will do this and have done this in the past, it's a different kind of thing. It's a different kind of feel. To, to managing and facilitating groups, smaller numbers of groups. So you, number one, you've got to deal with your nerves. And I certainly have to, even after 25 years, I have to I have to deal with those. You have to think about how you project, how you engage. Um, you have to be able to kind of, you know, deal with feedback on the hoof. Um, and that's been, you know, a, a challenge and a reminder. But I think o overall it's been, it's been relatively successful. So along with my friend and colleague, Richard, um, We've done a couple of sessions for Depop and Swindon New College, and they've been real highlights because because it's been something different and it's been a real kind of challenge for me for me to get to to get hold of and, and hopefully overcome with some degree of success. It's also been fantastic to actually work with 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 Richard um, on this. I don't get that much of a chance to work with other facilitators. It's usually me on my own, so always open to learning, always open to feedback and to watch Richard in action and the way that he prepares himself and the way that he delivers. Um, he has a different style to me um, and, and it was really great for me to be able to observe and watch and to think about how I might be able to to do some of that, re remaining authentic um, into, my, into, my, into, my, into my, fut my future sessions. Um, piece of feedback... Um, <sighs> I, it's more this is actually feedback from my from from my wife because often when I go home from sessions she'll ask me how it's gone and I, and, I, and 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 Jade might already be aware that she's seen a little bit from me already. I, I can be very quite negative. I focus on the negatives. This is the bit that didn't go well. This is the bit that that I need to improve next time. And I find it difficult to kind of focus quickly on the things that did go well and 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 the and the fact that we've achieved the outputs and the feedback has been positive. I'm a bit too negative and I think that has an impact on me over a period of time in terms of preparation, in terms of managing nerves, in terms of dealing with the anxiety of, of, of sessions. So so my feedback from my wife that I'm trying to kind of input into into everyday life as well is is actually, yes, of course we want to understand the things that haven't gone well and to build on those, but to really focus on the strengths as well first and think about what's gone well and what um and what I can build on. Because I think how it leads me into a better mindset and if I'm in a better place then I'll deliver better sessions for for, for my for my customers and clients going forward so that's me a little bit longer than i think i was allowed so um, maybe jay's edited some of this i don't know but enjoy your session i hope to be with you ne next time <laughs>